right, I'm gonna work with you on the um, box real quick, okay? Or on the pro, on the computer. Um, so work with me over there real quick, okay? about now, Angie? Hey everybody, it's Josh with Hope and I'm bringing you a pretty important video. I kind of debated on whether I would share it, but the spirits really wanted me to share this video. It seems like and I try to hold true to what it is that they want to do. I don't spread fear. Um, I know that there are difficult things in this world. Back in October, I did a session asking about world events and I got some pretty chilling messages. And I don't believe that the spirits were saying it to be, uh, to scare us, I should say, but I, I do believe that they were letting us know the information that I was asking. Um, but one of those messages was, I'm telling you, it's blowing up in the spring. Now, I thought that was interesting, and I don't know what that means. Um, in my group sessions, I was asking for loved ones, and one of the loved ones, her name is Angie on the other side. She's come through many times. Um, I respect her a lot. And she said something about um, you only have six months or something about six months. Now, that was in November. If you think about that spring comment in October and then you only have six months from November, that's in the spring. Um, I asked Angie again in another group session about it. And she said uh, that something about Easter. Another loved one also mentioned Easter. Now, I don't think something grave is necessarily going to happen on Easter. I don't live my life in fear. I don't necessarily think that everything that comes through the box is going to happen exactly how it's said. But they did want me to share it, so I am sharing it. I'm going to tell you right now that I trust in God. I know my body is, is not permanent. My soul is. Our souls are. They are eternal. And this is not the ultimate reality. So as much pain that we experience here, um, it is only temporary. And so I, I'm not worried about it, but I did want to share it with you. And um, they did mention that they're trying to stop them, whatever this is. And maybe you guys can weigh in on what you feel it might be. But I figured it would be worth sharing it with you. So let's get right into it. Are these wars that are going on in Ukraine and over in the Middle East, are they signs of something bigger to come? Do you know? Will these conflicts persist and continue to progress to a, a worse state? Tell us any more about what we need to know about the future in regards to what is happening in this world. Is there anything else you'd like to say before I shut this down? Next person I'm asking for is Angie, and this is for Bruce. Right, I'm going to work with you on the um, box real quick, okay, or on the pro, on the computer. 
Um, so work with me over there real quick, okay? Angie, is there anything that you see that's going on in the world? Anything that you can tell us about um, regarding from the other side, what you're seeing? Any helpful message? I don't know. I'm just trying to, you know, um, get some kind of other response from you that might be helpful, might be something that you want to share with us. Is there anything else that you want to share? Um, about what's going on in the world or anything that you see from the other side. How about now, Angie? It's not good, I heard, maybe. Go ahead when you're ready, um, uh, Melinda. Ian, I heard that you were at the martial arts tournament and I told Owen and he asks if you'll be in the car with us and if you'll be there with us when we go to his martial arts class tomorrow. Hey. Would you like me to hang your stocking that I embroidered? I they put away for a couple of years. All right, Ian. Any final message before she tells you uh, that she loves you for the night, or anything? Anything else you want to say? Okay. Go with your uh, final message for the night, uh, Melinda. Anne, I love you. I miss you. Owen does too. And um, I know I said I'm getting ready to use the pro, and I, but but I am. Um, and if I don't, I will be talking to you anyway every day, and I'll see you for real for this next month. God bless you, man. Okay. Um, so Angie Davidson, I'm sending you love. I appreciate you and your efforts. How are you tonight? any direct questions for you you know I, I bring up what you brought up about the spring and, and the sky will open up I mean, there's some really interesting things that you've said um, just in the last couple sessions but um, you know I don't want to keep asking questions about stuff that maybe you don't want to mention or talk about or you're you know m moving past but um, how are you tonight how are you doing Okay. Um, Angie, do you have any messages uh, for Bruce? Do you have any messages tonight on this holiday season? Anything you want to share with him?
What are you going to be doing over the next, you know, I don't know, a few days? What are you working on? What are you doing? Anything you can sh share with us? Shed some light on? With me on, I'm gonna put on a different sound for you real quick, okay? Something behind me. Thank you, Angie. Final message for the night, final message through the box. So there it is. You guys can make your own determination. I'm sure we will continue to live past Easter, but I figured it would be important. We don't know what's going on on the other side and what spirits are doing, what God is doing as far as to try to change what needs to happen, you know, if there's something that's happening. I know there's a lot of unrest. There is flooding in certain places. There's war in other places. I get it, but I think that you know, we will be okay regardless. And I am praying and sending love to everyone. And uh, until next time, I'll have some more videos coming your way. I'm working on some really great stuff. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Love you all.